Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Mathematics Parshara. Today we will solve a problem of partial differential equation from CSI Regis in 8 December 2023. This problem is from part C and the question ID is 704094. Let's see the problem. Here we have to consider this Cauchy problem e into delivery x plus delivery y is equals to 1 where x y belongs to r cross 0 to infinity. With this given condition, e x 0 is equals to k into x where k is given a real parameter and x belongs to the set of real numbers. So we have to find the values of k for which does the above problem have a solution defined on this region r cross 0 to infinity. So for this given Cauchy problem, we can write the Lagrange auxiliary equation. We can write Lagrange auxiliary equation as dx by u is equals to dy by 1 is equals to du by 1. So, if you take here this second and third fraction, then what we get? We get dy is equals to du. And integrating on both sides, from here we get u minus pi is equals to c1, where c1 is an arbitrary constant. c1 is an arbitrary constant. Again, if we take this first and third fraction, then what we get? We get dx by u is equals to du by 1. From these, we can write it as u du is equals to dx. Again, if we integrate on both sides, we get u square by 2 minus x is equals to c2 dash. Where c2 dash is some arbitrary constant. Now, we can write it as u square minus 2x is equals to 2 into c2 dash. So, if we take 2 into c2 dash some constant c2 since we are taking c2 is equals to 2 into c2 dash. We can take it as this. So, where our c2 and c2 dash both are arbitrary constant. Both are arbitrary constant. So, here we can take this equation as 1 and this equation as equation number 2. Now, with the help of this given initial letter curve that is e x 0 is equals to k into x, we can take it in the parametric form as let us take x0 is equals to s where y0 is equals to 0. Then what we get? We get u is 0 is equals to ks. Now using these in equation 1, so from 1, what we can write? From 1, we can write k into s is equals to c1. Since here, y is equals to 0. So, we get c1 is equals to ks denoted as 3. And now, from 2, what we can write? From 2, we can write u will be k square is square minus 2 into s is equals to c2. So, here we get c2 is equals to this 
take it as 4. Now from this 3 and 4, to eliminate the parameter S, what we can do? So from, from 3 and 4 equation. To eliminate S, we can write it as C2 is equals to here k square is square means c1 square using 3 so we get c2 is equal to c1 square minus 2 into s means c1 by k that is 2 into c1 by k so both are we get using equation number 3 so here we already eliminated the parameter S. Now, here u square minus 2x is equal to c2. So, we can put c2 in equation number 2. So, putting c2, this c2 in equation number 2, we get u square minus 2x is equal to c1 square. That means, u minus y square by equation 1 we get and 2 by k into u minus y by 1 and 2. So here if we calculate this what we get u square minus 2x is equals to u square minus 2uy plus y square minus 2 by k into u plus 2 by k into y. So here these two terms will be eliminated and rest are minus 2 x is equal to minus 2u if we take common minus 2u into y plus 1 by k from these two terms and here it will be plus y square plus 2 by k into y. Now if we take this term in the left side then we get 2u into y plus 1 by k is equal to taking it in the right side 2x plus y square plus 2 by k into y. Now, from this, we can write u is equals to 2x plus y square plus 2 by k into y and denominator will be 2 into y plus 1. So from this, our u will be 2kx plus y square k plus 2y divided by 2ky plus 2. Now here, if we take 2 common in both the numerator and denominator, then what we get? We get y plus k into x plus y square by 2 by k y plus 1. So, it will be our e. Now, our goal is to find the value of k for which the above problem have a solution defined on y, defined on r cross 0 to infinity. That is, x belongs to r, y belongs to 0 to infinity. So, let's check for the given values of k. So, for the first option, when k is equals to 0. Then what we will get? We get when k is equals to 0, it will be 
u is equals to y plus this term will be 0 so we get y by 1 so u is equals to y so we get the solution exists in the given region for all values of y where y belongs to 0 to infinity. Let's check for the second option when k is equals to minus k. So see here when the denominator will be 0 the solution will be undefined. So solution is undefined. then the denominator will be 0 that is minus 2y plus 1 is equals to 0 that is when y is equals to half and here half belongs to 0 to infinity so the solution is undefined when k is equals to minus 2 because when k is equals to minus 2 we get y is equals to half which belongs to our given region 0 to infinity. That's why u is undefined when k is equals to minus 2. Now for option 3, when k is equals to 4, then Similarly, u is undefined when the denominator that is 4y plus 1 is equals to 0 and then we get y is equals to minus 1 by 4 which does not belong to 0 to infinity. Therefore, when k is equals to 4, the solution is when k is equals to 4, the solution is defined. Solution is defined. And for our fourth option, when k is equals to 1, then our denominator will be y plus 1 is equals to 0 for k is equals to 1. So, solution is solution is undefined. When denominator y plus 1 is equals to 0, that is y is equals to minus 1. Similarly, here also minus 1 does not belong to 0 to infinity. That is our given region. So, Therefore, u is defined on r cross infinity, sorry, r cross 0 to infinity when k is equal to 1. So, let's check here. When k is equal to 4, the solution is defined. When k is equal to 1, the solution is defined. And only for k is equal to minus 2 the solution is undefined. So here our correct option will be option 1 k is equals to 0, option 3 k is equals to 4 and option 4 k is equals to 1. Thank you everyone for watching the video.